Hello everyone, welcome to this video, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix Facebook app keeps on crashing. So if your Facebook app just creeps on crashing, then in this video I have found a lot of different ways to fix this. But it's going to be a little bit longer of a video than normal because Facebook is just an extremely big app. So there are a lot of uh, ways why this is currently happening, a lot of reasons what is causing this issue. But yeah. I found a lot of ways in order to fix it, so let's just immediately get started with fix number one. And that's going to be the easiest one, simply checking if you have a proper Wi-Fi connection or if cellular mode is enabled. Because in order to actually start using Facebook, you need to have Wi-Fi or cellular mode. And sometimes when you just don't have Wi-Fi at all, it will just automatically just completely kick you out of the app. So just make sure that you have Wi-Fi or cellular mode enabled. All right, so once you've done that, what you can also try and do is simply trying to uh, basically update your Facebook app. This is really, really easy. And if you update an app, it will automatically also basically refresh and hard reset the entire app. So I'll just recommend trying to update my Facebook app to see that maybe will fix the issue. Now, if that did not fix the issue either, then what you can also try and do is simply heading over to settings over on your iPhone or Android, going into general software update because maybe your entire ios just needs to get updated and once you do this it will also automatically just hard reset your entire iphone hard refresh everything everything will just get a quick fix a lot of bugs will be fixed as well and maybe that will fix your issue but just try to see if updating your entire ios or android will also just maybe fix that issue all right so if you've done that as well what you're going to also simply do and it's just not working, what you can also try and do is simply clear the cache over on the Facebook app. In order to do this, head over to general. Once you've done that, iPhone storage, just like this. And basically, once you've done that, scroll down until you find Facebook right here. Then in order to do this, what we need to do is to go to offload app. Then we install it back using this page. And all your documents, all your data, you will still be logged into your account. However, you will just have to clear your cache to the Facebook app. And you have hard reset at the app as well. And this sometimes fixes a lot of issues you are having with the Facebook app. All right, so if that still does not fix the issue for you, now what you can also simply try and do is simply check if maybe you have no storage over your iPhone left. So in order to check this, what you can do is head over into general and then software update. Of course, this will also be able to do over on Android and it's not software update actually it's iPhone storage, of course. And then you just need to make sure to check if you actually have enough storage on your iPhone. If you have less than one gigabyte of storage left, that's just not enough nor to, uh, for your phone to actually start running apps because those apps also require some storage where they can basically write cache. So just make sure that you have at least one or two gigabytes left of storage. If you don't, just free up some space, which is really, really easy. Now, if you've done that as well, it's still not working. Then what you're going to also try and do is simply check if maybe the servers of Facebook are just down. So go to this website called Down Detector, just like this. Then click on the search bar, bar right here, and then just simply type in Facebook, just like this. And we're going to see if maybe the entire server or several Facebook is just down. So click on Facebook and then see if there are any crazy spikes. We can see that literally only about like, what is it, like 12, uh, 12 hours ago, we saw this massive spike, meaning there was maybe a small uh, problem going on with the servers. However, it got immediately fixed, so you can check to see if there may be any glitches or bugs or the servers down completely on facebook that could cause issues to issues with facebook just straight up not working so make sure to check that out all right so if you've already done that it's still not working what you can also try and do is simply force restarting your entire device on iphone in order to do this simply press the volume a button really quickly then the volume down button really quickly then press and hold the power button so your entire screen goes dark however you want to keep holding it Till the Apple logo already appears again, and the second you see that Apple logo, let go of the power button, and you will then automatically restart your device, and you basically force restart your device, and this will fix a lot of issues with apps, including Facebook, so you can see if that maybe will fix the issue for you as well. And yeah, if that still did not fix the issue for you, then what you can try and do is maybe change all of those settings. So when you open Facebook, it will automatically start loading all of those posts and videos. However, if it needs to load a really long video, then this sometimes can cause issues with your entire device just needing so much memory from Facebook already that it will instantly close. So in order to fix this, head over to Facebook, going into menu at the bottom right corner of the screen, and then going to the top right corner of the screen at that settings icon. Once you've done that, scroll down until you find media right here, 
And what I would simply recommend doing is making sure that data saver is enabled. And I would also make sure that never auto play videos is enabled. This will just save you some memory over your device for Facebook. And this could cause issues with uh, Facebook basically crashing. So just make sure that those, uh, they, those uh, settings are set to what I just said. And then you should be good to go. And if that, that still not fix the issue for you, then the only other thing you are left to do is simply reinstalling your app. It, this will, however, delete all of your documents as data if you don't have them back up. So make sure to either back them up or just try to log in back in your account. And yeah, basically reinstalling an app on 99% of the time fixes any issue you are having with the app. So I will just recommend doing that to see if it's worth it. And yeah, that's basically all I have for you in this video right now. So let me know down in the comments below which fix fixes it for you. And that being said, please sure consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and I hope I will see you in my next YouTube tutorial video.